hi this is alt sims or nicole and welcome back to my channel today's video is just another cast video speed cast video i guess um i'm gonna be talking over it of course i haven't made a video in a while it seems um i've been very busy but either way i have lots of time now or more time um I really like doing these cast videos, it kind of just lets me make a sim and you can see the process and then I can talk about it as I'm going. Uh, and then you can also get the CC that I use because I will put all the links below and every sim that I make for videos like this will also be up for download so you can just download the whole sim with all their CC already in the folder. A lot of people ask me where you can find my sims, like how do you download them, and they look on the gallery and whatever, but I don't have any sims on the gallery just because it's, I find it harder to just put them on the gallery without the CC. I'd rather just have it all in one place so it's easy for you guys to just put it in your game. Um, but maybe I could do both. I don't know. I think it's easier this way. So either way. If you want to download this sim, the link is below. It's on my Patreon. And you can do it all through there. There is instructions in the folder. But if you ever need help, you can ask me. I'll try my best to help you. Or you can Google it. I mean, at this point, there's probably so many videos on how to download a sim. Anyways, so this is a sim that I kind of based on somebody I saw on Pinterest. <laughs> Um, I'll put their picture right here. They end up not really looking like them um, because I do end up using one of these. I'm gonna butcher Vitalog. Vital I've said this before and people were making fun of me. Vitalo Vitalego? Um, this is actually in the Sims game, the one that I used. They added a bunch of new swatches for that, so I wanted to see what they looked like and it was really nice, so I thought might as well use it um so yeah i kind of based it on her and then i kind of changed it a little bit too but i kind of started off doing the sim on her i just go through all the skin details like usual never really knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> I just click stuff and if it looks good, it looks good. I've really been obsessed with like really heavy bags under Sim's eyes right now, so that's why I ended up using that. I have been using the same skin details forever now and I'm thinking maybe I should clean out what I have and start over or something or like look for new ones that I could use a lot. But I think like the ones that I have work so well and can work so many different ways that I just haven't wanted to uh, switch them up. Um, I've always been, I've been using that highlighter very frequently to give them some like de texture and like detail on their face. And of course the shadow by Sim Andy is like my favorite thing to use also on every Sim. I've been obsessed with these lip overlays by, uh, obs you know, Sims 3 Mel and Mel all. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Melacholic. Um, I've been using them a lot, but for some reason on these lips, I end up changing them as you saw. They just like weren't looking very good. I did go back and use one, but they just like weren't standing out as much. And I think it might be her face um the face overlay i was using but as you can see like it's not very detailed as it usually would be so I, i'm not sure why but i uh i do end up kind of making it work anyways she wears she ends up wearing lipstick so it's not that big of a deal but i just always want the lips to look as realistic as possible uh lips always look realistic uh cheeks like how they have um like freckles or uh, pores, stuff like that. So yeah, you can see that I'm going through the skin overlay and seeing if that's the problem. Like, I'm not sure why it wasn't showing 
Uh, but I do end up changing her lips and it ends up working out, but. And then I ended up changing the highlight because it looked really bright on her. I don't know. I just, I always do stuff and I'll just go back and change it after. I'm like, this isn't really looking as good as I thought it would. It's just like, yeah, the lips were just really bugging me. I don't know why. I, I had this like vision in my mind. I think because I was going off of a picture of somebody and I was trying to make it kind of similar, it was hard for me to like go back and be like, oh, it doesn't look like her. Like that's not what it looks like. But I stuck with this face. This was her face. I didn't really change it much after this. Her ears are really, her ears look super big there. I don't know. I don't know why. So this part, I went through so many different hairs. I was trying to find a hair similar to the hair in the picture, but I didn't really have one like that. Like I had similar ones, but again, I keep saying similar. Um, so I went through a bunch of my hairs, um, braided, usually all the, mostly all the braided ones. I have so many and I do not use them enough, but I love them like that. I love all these ones by, by Shea Butter are like amazing. And I've downloaded like all of their hairstyles. I thought I would end up using one of them, but I don't think I did. Also, these ones by Ebonix. Ebonix, I'm so sorry. I cannot talk. I cannot speak. I cannot say names properly. So please forgive me if I say your name wrong. I also wanted to use one of these hairstyles. I can't remember who they're by, but they have the beads in the um, braids like the picture kind of had. So I was thinking of using something like that. That's why I keep flipping back to that one. Um, but it just wasn't, I don't know, it just wasn't working for me. Like I was very stuck on using the one in the picture. So that's why I've, I'm going to change my mind a lot. I also use this overlay. It just makes like black hair look way better. Uh, it doesn't have that like blue or grayish um, look to it, uh, which bugs me for EA colors. Like they're horrible, especially the blue one. I think I've used it like twice. <laughs> like I don't like it. And then once I picked the hairstyle, which I ended up changing anyways, but once I picked the hairstyle, I went back and found the hairline that would suit it more. I have a bunch of those too. They're by C Productions and those will be linked in the description as well. Uh, the girl in the picture didn't have much makeup on so I was trying to find like very subtle eyeliner and for some reason it's always really hard for me to pick one. So uh, I ended up choosing that like just really simple wing liner. These eyelashes by Obscurus are like my favorite, but as you'll see later, um, they don't work with the belt that I picked, so I had to change them <laughs> um, because I really wanted the belt. So I had to choose between the lashes or the belt, and I chose the belt. So once I do Sims makeup, um, I go back, kind of like tweak their face a little bit, make sure it's all proper, <laughs> I don't know, like just move things around, make sure the makeup looks good. Usually the eyeliner ends up looking weird, so I have to kind of tweak the eyebrows so they look good. So in this instance video i actually chose her outfit like really quickly i didn't even know what i was gonna put on her but i ended up putting on just like a sweater and a skirt and it matches the background really well too and as you can see i also changed her hair <laughs> so i thought this one was well the reason why i changed it is because i picked those earrings i was like this matches her vibe so much like i love these earrings and you couldn't see them with the other hair so I was like, well, I'll just put like an updo and then I saw this hairstyle and I was like, this one's perfect. 
Um, so yeah, that's why I chose that hairstyle. As you can see, the skirt matches the background like really nicely, so I had to do it. And then now I'm going through the belt. So the one I have on right now by Aretha B was one of the ones I really wanted to use. I ended up using two, but that one I really wanted to use and it doesn't work with the eyelashes. As you can see, they weren't, they were gone <laughs> when I put it on. I didn't notice until the end, but so I was like, I'd rather have the belt than those eyelashes. So I picked just different eyelashes. I think the hardest part of this whole sim was picking shoes. Um, I wanted her to wear boots, but like, you see how like it looks weird with the short boots and the heels looked weird. I just really didn't know what to pick. So I ended up going with these boots. I wish you could see her tights, but it's okay. And then I just put on like normal nails, no nail polish. And I found another belt not this one, a different one, more of the chain ones. I guess I was going for like a boho witchy vibe. Not really witchy, I guess boho. It kind of matches the background, which I don't really know what that would be. Like, it's very like, I don't know the word. I want to say mystic. I don't know. It's very what I decorate the houses in The Sims like. It matches the vibe. So this is just me going through necklaces. I always end up picking a choker. There's never a necklace that suits what I want. Like I can never find one. So I just end up going with a choker. It's just easier. So then I just put on some cleavage overlay. And then I wanted her to have some sort of tattoo. I picked this tattoo and it was so nice, it matched her vibe, but none of it showed. So I went back, tried to find a tattoo that would be on like her chest that wasn't too much. Like I didn't want her to be full of tattoos, I just wanted her to have like a little bit. So I'm just going through them all. And I ended up picking this one by... N-S-V-E-S, I don't know how to say it, but I love her stuff, or their, sorry, I love their stuff, and I just like how it looked really cute with the stars, it was very simple. So this was the sim that I came up with, she kind of looks like the picture, not really, but I tried my best, like it was just kind of an inspiration, I wasn't trying to like make her look exactly like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, um, like, subscribe, and tell me if there's anything else you'd want me to see do um yeah thanks for watching bye